Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be going over string comparisons and object comparisons. In the last video we went over basically how to use if statements, else ifs, and else statements to simply allow you guys to control the way that your program flows. In this video I want to show you why sometimes it's not going to work the same way. In the last video near the end I said not to do this with strings because you would probably end up with ha having some sort of error. In this video or this program demonstrates it pretty well. So we create a string object str and we um, initialize it to name. What this does right here is literally just make sure that we create an individual object different from every other object with the value name inside of it. We do the same thing here for str2 and then we compare them using the equals equal operator. Now if these two are equal, which the values of them are, then this right here should execute. If we run this, we see that it didn't. There's nothing there. The reason for this is that the equals equal operator actually checks to see if the reference is the same and not the value. These both have the same value of name, but they have a different reference to name. So in order to actually compare to make sure that these are the same thing, we need to use the dot equals operator, which will allow us to compare the value rather than the reference. And we see here that it actually does execute the code and that it works the way that we would expect to now understanding how the reference works. A reference is going to be the actual memory address of your object that points to the value. So we see here value name and value name, but we saw down here when we used equal equal that they have different references. It turns out that you can have the same reference by doing this, but the chances of that occurring are pretty low, and it's actually not the the normal way of doing it. If you're programming in Java and you see someone compare strings with an equals equal like this, the only way that's going to uh, consistently work is if we do something like this, where we say equals name and equals name. The reason for this is that because we're giving it the same value strictly without creating a new object for that value, your compiler will do something that is referred to as interning, which means that it's going to see that these are the exact same value, and so instead of creating multiple objects that have references to the same value, they're just going to make one object that you can reference under different names inside of your program. So if we do this now, we'll still get name outputted here because we're, uh, we made sure that these are the same object in this compiler. Um, some compilers will not allow you to do this, but most compilers nowadays actually do optimize themselves to where they notice these are the same values, so instead of making two separate objects, we're just going to give these two variables the same name and have the same reference to the same value. You can do this with any object, not just string. We'll get into how objects work later on, but this is something that will set you guys up so that you can do if statements on whatever you want, make your own simple programs, and understand what is truly going on behind the scenes rather than just being confused as to why one of them uh, compares and one of them does not compare correctly. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please uh, press the like button. If you want to see future videos, subscribe. Uh, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.